The book is titled Rationality, What It Is, Why It Seems Scarce, and Why It Matters. Steven Pinker is a psychologist and professor at Harvard, and he makes the case for humanity's ability to use careful thinking to make our world a better place. But first, we have to understand what rationality is. Thank you for joining us, Professor Pinker. What do you mean by rationality? I define it as the use of knowledge to attain goals. That is, there is something that you want to show, something you want to get, and you use brain power to attain it. All right, Professor, that leads me to wonder if people are not using that to make decisions, what are they using to make decisions? If it may, that seems so rational to use rationality. If they're not doing it, what are they using? Yeah, well, sometimes people use uh, impressions, stereotypes, anecdotes, rumors, uh, <clears throat> theories that make your own side look noble and wise and make the other side look foolish and stupid. So uh, alignment with the truth, that is, uh, doing things that actually conform to reality, we're capable of it. That's how we hold a job. That's how we pay our taxes. That's how we get the kids clothed and fed and off to school on time. But in some realms, we uh, aren't necessarily after the objective truth. We may be just trying to make our own side look good. All right, Professor, if somebody's watching and they say, you know what, that makes sense. I want to train my mind to be more rational, and I want to train my mind to be able to disregard irrationality when I see it or hear it. Is that possible? Can you train your mind to do that? Yeah, and that, that's one of the things I try to convey in my book. I try to explain the major tools of rationality that don't come naturally to us, things like logic and probability and distinguishing correlation from causation. So part of it is to have at your fingertips these tools of rationality, but another part is to belong to communities of, of people that follow rules that are aimed at getting at the truth. I know that, noticed that earlier in the program you talked about the uh, court system, juries, and adversarial proceedings. That's an example of a kind of game we play where the rules are set up so that even though no individual human has a monopoly on the truth, none of us is perfectly wise or rational. We're, we're only human. We're fallible. But on the other hand, when you have a group of people that are allowed to criticize each other's fallacies, that gives you some hope that the group following those rules can be rational in a way that every individual person couldn't ever claim to be. All right, Professor, how does rationality coexist with things that appear less rational, like love or loyalty? I mean, I can tell you, if my wife employed rationality, she never would have agreed to marry me, because it, it just was not a <laughs> rational decision. So. How do we kind of marry up, you know, love and, and, yeah. and loyalty and other things that are maybe less reliable? But, you know, there is a kind of rationality to it. It's not that obvious. But when you think about it, if you were just to choose the, you know, the, 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 the best looking and the funniest and the smartest and the richest person that she came along, that came along so far, well, by the law of averages, someone even better is bound to come along in the future. And then you know, she'd, she'd drop you like a hot potato. You'd have no reason to fall in love with her because uh, you, the, you, she would not be committed to the relationship. If she loved you just because you're you, you're just that unique person, there, that at least gives you some grounds for committing yourself to her and, of course, vice versa. So even in cases of romantic infatuation, falling head over heels, there is a kind of rationality to it. In conditions of bargaining and negotiation, sometimes it pays to be a little bit irrational. Well, Professor, I went and watched uh, some of your videos. I mean, I, I, I think the topic you took on to write about um, is, is fascinating. Uh, my previous guest was in a courtroom, as was I, and, and we like logic and we like facts and we like rationality, but I, I'd really like to talk to you again some point and, and for folks interested in, in kind of rationality and why they need it and how to spot irrationality in others, I recommend the professor's book. Thank you for joining us, Professor Pinker. Thank you for having me. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.